हेलो फोमर्स दिस इज दिव्यश्वरिया वेलकम बैक टू डी डी फ्लूड्स इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यूटिलिटी कॉल्ड ए एम आर ए एम आर स्टैंड फॉर एडेप्टिव मैश रिफाइनमेंट वी विल ऑल्सो इम्प्लीमेंट ए एम आर यूटिलिटी इन एन ओपन फोम केस सो द केस विल बी मल्टीफेस प्रॉब्लम विथ वी ऑफ मैथड सो लेट्स बिगिन Uh, we can use AMR if uh, we want mesh refinement at a very uh, specific region of our interest. Uh, let me rephrase uh, that: we can uh, refine mesh at our uh, as our simulation run, and this refinement will be at a very specific uh, region of our interest. For example, if we are doing a scalar transport simulation. we already know that the entire domain is static there is no change in the field at all except our uh, scale of field and that's moving so wherever our scalar is moving we want refinement near that particular region so basically we want refinement for a specific field at a very specific range of the values this process will save our time and uh, we can get accurate results near our area of interest so how it will save the time so basically uh, instead of using a very fine mesh for full domain we are going to use uh, fine mesh at a very small region so number of cell will be reduced and uh, our equation uh, will generate results faster and load on our system processor will be also less okay so in open foam amr utility only works for 3d cases so make sure you are using a 3d case and also note that it it don't work everywhere so until and unless you know uh, the field and the reach uh, and the range of that field where you want your refinement do not use this utility uh, basically you will end up getting wrong results and be very careful when we use when you use this uh, utility so we are going to use it on a vof method based multiphase uh, bubble rising in a water column problem a separate video tutorial is already available on this uh, youtube channel so practice that now i have already reproduce uh, that case from that uh, tutorial and fold structure of uh, that case is very simple it's like this as you can see on the screen in this structure we will add one extra dictionary for dynamic meshing and this dictionary will be in the constant folder uh, actually i have already created it and put it in the constant folder you can also download uh, this uh, directory and you can do the same the link of this directory will be in the description box so you can download download it from there okay so let me open my terminal and show you the folder so in my terminal i'll go into my run folder and in my run folder as you can see i have already created this amr bubble rising folder or case i'll go there so here as you can see zero constant and system folders are available now into the uh constant folder as you can see with all the other uh, files i have dynamic mesh dict so when you download dynamic mesh dict file from description you need to paste it into the constant folder inside this constant folder okay so let me clear the terminal 
and let me execute the commands for the meshing and setting up the fields first i'll type block mesh So once you finish the meshing, uh, you need to type uh, set fields command for setting up the alpha fields for setting up the level of water and air. Okay, so let me open this uh, case in Paraview and let me show you the problem statement. So this is our uh, domain, a uh, cylindrical um, domain we have here. And if I uh, change field to alpha water, you can see partially filled with water and partially with air. We have a geometry. And if I uh, clip this geometry, Uh, we can see inside our uh, domain we have one more uh, spherical uh, air bubble and this will rise uh, when we run the simulation so till now we haven't run any uh, equations we we just finished uh, setting up the fields so this is our basic problem statement and uh, when we add our uh, dynamic mesh uh, AMR uh, utility it will refine the interface of this bubble and this uh, separating interface so let me show you the uh, structure of the mesh so as you can see it's very coarse mesh and that's why we are getting uh, very diffused uh, results here uh, let me show you the exact results okay So here as you can see we have a very coarse mesh and uh, with this type of mesh we can't actually get the uh, sharp interface at the uh, at this particular range and that's why we are gonna add uh, this uh, adaptive mesh refinement okay so let me open terminal and uh, let me open uh, dynamic mesh ticked so as you can see we have the file here and in this file uh, if we scroll down uh, the dynamic FV mesh we are using dynamic refinement type mesh then inside this uh, coefficients we are defining few coefficients so we will go uh, we'll see this uh, coefficients in detail so first parameter that we need to define is uh, refinement interval and we are adding one which means at every uh, iteration at every time step we want our uh, mesh to be refined actually you can use it for higher uh, time steps as well so if you are simulating for let's say uh, at every one second you can use 10 seconds so at every 10 seconds it will refine the mesh uh, it completely depends on you uh, how you want to define your mesh uh, then we have filled and in that field we define the field which field we want to refine so depending on this alpha water I want refinement and if we go below we have two values one is for lower refinement level and one is for upper refinement level now this lower refinement level and uh, upper refinement level they are the range uh, wherein we want refinement so alpha water value 
विच फॉल्स अंडर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वी विल गेट रिफाइनमेंट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर रेंज ऑफ अल्फा वाटर नव आफ्टर दैट वी सेट अनरिफाइनमेंट लेवल वेर वी वॉन्ट अनरिफाइनमेंट सो आई एम यूजिंग टेन इट्स डिपेंड्स ऑन यू हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस वैल्यूज दैन देर आर सम फ्यू मोर पैरामीटर्स एंड बफर लेयर्स हाउ मेनी बफर लेयर्स यू वॉन्ट फॉर द रिफाइनमेंट यू कैन चेंज दिस नंबर एंड सी द सिमुलेशंस you will get different uh, different types of refinement at when you change the parameters then we have refine maximum refinement and here we we give how many levels of refinement we want so when we give two it will split our uh, mesh into two cells so that's that's basically a level that you said if you go for higher level you will see better refinement and if you go for one i don't think with one you will get any refinement but yeah uh, you can use two or more than two as well then we give uh, maximum cells uh, how much refinement you want to add so uh, basically when you reach to this point this value point uh, it will stop refining so that's maximum cells and after that we have flux field that we need to define correct flux field so this is basically for the velocity uh, if you are giving some velocity refinement and uh, there is some change in the flux at the at the face in that case you need to change these values but here we have a scalar field alpha water so we don't really need to uh, define anything but yeah these values should be here we cannot delete these values they are required uh, but the the value we are giving here for all the uh, fields are none so there is no uh reinterpolation for the fluxes then uh we have dump level and that's for writing the refinement level as a scalar field when we run the simulation uh, whether you want to write this scalar field in your uh with your case file uh true means it will uh, write it false means it will not write it so this simple directory is our uh, dynamic mesh dict for adaptive mesh refinement let me close this so we don't really need to do any extra uh, we don't really need to run any extra command we just need to run our solver and it will automatically uh, take this uh, dictionary uh, uh, while running the simulation and it will refine the mesh so let me type interform that's our uh, solver that we are using hit enter so yeah it started running and as you can see okay let me show you the how it refines it so initially delta t is very small and at the first iteration it selected 452 cells for the refinement out of uh 3200 uh, cells so we have 3200 cells initially and it uh calculates that uh, this many cells uh, requires refinement and once it refined the cells uh, 3200 cells become uh, 6364 cells so they split all these uh, cells and uh, we get the refinement solution so at every uh, iteration that we are solving 
we will get different values so in the next uh, time step we are getting 1888 cells for the refinement and at the end we get 19580 cells so this are the uh, uh, this is how it defines the uh, mesh and let me uh, it will take some time to run the simulation meanwhile let me show you uh, the mesh so let's refresh it and let's go to next time step so here as you can see we have uh, a slightly different mesh uh, near this region and uh, we have same mesh at the top region so at the interface uh, of these two phases we get some refinement and we get slightly less diffused interface at the uh, diffused interface so let me show you the final results so this is how it starts refining and if I go to next time step and I'll get the slightly different results than the uh, a coarser mesh results so that's how we can uh, implement this adaptive mesh refinement and we get uh, final results at our area of interest so if I change this to surface okay so here as you can see the way it moves upward it starts refining and we get uh, a refined interface at every time step So uh, as you can see on the screen I have three different uh, results in the first case I, I have simulated the same case with a coarser mesh without uh, AMR and as you can see we got a, a very coarse results in the second result I have uh, added dynamic uh, AMR uh, directory and I got a slightly better result and in the third case I have used uh, double refinement inside whole uh, domain and I have removed the AMR so the third case is without AMR and with a very finer mesh and the time difference uh, how much time it took to uh, simulate the results you can see on the screen and you can judge the benefit of uh, AMR so that's it for today if you are looking for more learning material you can join our telegram channel you can also subscribe to my youtube channel you can also connect me through this social media handles with this stay healthy stay fit see you in the next video